Oregon State Home Order has had a big impact on restaurants, as you might know, that are only allowed to sell meals through their takeout or delivery. But a local restaurant has found a creative way to still serve fresh meals to their customers while also feeding people in need. Joe V is live in his home kitchen, cooking up something fun and having all the details. Hi, Joe. Yeah, Kim and Shauna, you know, I, I posted this on Twitter earlier. I've done a lot in my uh, TV news career that it's lasted, well, longer than I care to admit. Uh, one thing I've never done is a live cooking segment, one-man band style with a selfie stick. But, hey, that's the uh, brave new world that we live in, folks. Uh, you know, as we were talking about, restaurants throughout Oregon are uh, finding it obviously very difficult to uh, basically bring in customers right now. They can only serve you through takeout or delivery. But one restaurant decided to put a unique spin on these limitations. And here's the best part. You can help feed some people who could really use some help. Here's how. For five years, the Tavern on Cruise has wowed taste buds with farm-to-table food from a Michelin-trained chef. But owner Kent Lewis had to face a new reality when their dining room and every restaurant dining room in Oregon was closed down. When the order came that we would only be able to do takeout, it really scared us. And it scared us on a couple levels. The first is when you put out food that you're proud of, it doesn't travel well in a box. It gets mushy and the hot stuff gets lukewarm and the cold stuff gets lukewarm and it's not the kind of food that we want to do. The other part of it, of course, that was scary is that I got to walk in the next day and tell 32 people that they didn't know where their next meal was coming from. So Kent came up with a way to at least partially address those problems. So our roux is starting to brown a little First, bit. First, he and executive chef Nathan Bates decided to offer their own gourmet spin on takeout. What if we did 95% of the work and then sent home food ready to finish and plate and make magnificent at home? So twice a week, people can order a specific menu item from the restaurant website. They can also watch a video of chef Nathan preparing the dish. We'll get good sear on one side. Then later, they pick up their prepared ingredients and follow instructions to finish it at home. The average dish takes people 10 to 15 minutes of work at home. And all of a sudden, you have this perfectly seared this with this beautiful risotto and a fume broth and all these things that you, you really didn't understand and you didn't want to spend 10 hours on. In fact, it didn't take long for their customers to begin posting pictures of their finished dishes. And well, they look amazing. When I saw the pictures come in and when I read the enthusiasm for what was going on, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. And here's what may be the best part. Kent decided that his meals should feed more than just the people who can afford them. When you realize that you're about to tell 32 employees that you don't know where their next meal is going to come from, you decide that it's going to come from you. So for every meal he sells, Kent is giving a free one to someone who has lost their job. You just go to their website and order a complimentary dinner. The kind of things that we would make for a staff meal here in the restaurant. So it's been enchiladas, and lasagnas, and stir fries, and that kind of stuff. He's already given away hundreds of free meals. For example, the restaurant sold 120 short rib dinners, which meant they were able to feed 120 other people who could really use the help. They go online, and they come here, and they pick them up and it's really kind of a beautiful thing. So if you're hungry for a gourmet meal and ready for a little fun in the kitchen, you just may want to place an order of your own knowing that the finished result is double delicious. Now, uh, they're going to be doing these, uh, Tavern on the Cruise is, Tuesdays and Fridays. That's when you can uh, pick up meals. You can order them online at any time. They kind of put out the menu in advance, and then you decide, hey, I'd like to order this on Tuesday, or I'd like to order this on Friday. You pick it up in person, and then, uh, obviously, for the people, if you're unemployed and you want to uh, sign up for one of those free meals, you do that on their website as well, and you also pick that up on Tuesday and or Friday. Now, guys, I want to show you a little bit. I've never done this before. I've never done a live cooking segment uh, that I'm shooting myself, but, but here we go. <laughs> Let me flip this here. Okay. So right now, guys, I'm working on a dish. Uh, this was one of the dinners uh, that Tavern on the Cruise uh, was offering a couple weeks ago. So I'm actually going to, you know, give it my own, give it the old college try here on live TV. So coming up at about 8.45, we'll see how the uh, finished product looks. Uh, but we're getting there. Uh, we should see uh, how it all looks and, and more importantly, how it all tastes. Oh, look at that. Coming up a little bit later in the show. Let's yeah, get back Joe, to you. Yeah, Joe, it looks like scallops, but what kind of sauce is that? Is it sauce? Oh, oh, Shauna, that would be telling. I don't want to give it away oh. just yet. Come on now. <laughs> okay. Well, it, it looks, looks yummy. <laughs> I'm envious Joe. he gets to do a cooking segment. Same. Oh, my gosh, Kim. But this is sparking an no, idea. I cooking can't. with Kim. <laughs> oh, right. Regular basis. Boy, I can't wait to see this, though. I it's know. It's looking good so far. It's I like agree. we can almost smell it. Mm. 